Hey guys, welcome back to It's Lit Terrari. Today we're going to talk about anadiplosis. To use anadiplosis is to begin a sentence or clause by repeating the last word or words of the previous sentence or clause. The repetition of the words in anadiplosis adds rhythm and cadence. The repeated words are emphasized and anadiplosis often builds intensity to a climax. Now, anadiplosis can be used to demonstrate the relationship between things or events. It is often used to show cause and effect, and it is particularly effective when used in a triple, i.e. first concept, first set of repeated words, second concept, second set of repeated words, third concept, third set of repeated words. It is not necessary for the repeated words to be exactly beside each other. Other words can be interjected provided that the elements of the endoplosis are not too far apart. Minor words in the endoplosis can change. A slave, the slave, a gladiator, the gladiator. Now let's take a look at some quotes. This one is very popular. It's a quote from Yoda. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. Very wise, that little green guy. Got him. This next quote is from Malcolm X. Once you change your philosophy, you change your thought pattern. Once you change your thought pattern, you change your attitude. Once you change your attitude, it changes your behavior pattern, and then you go on into some action. Very inspiring, that little green guy. I mean, now, of course, we got to hit that hip-hop example. This one is pretty straightforward. It's from Ubiquitous's verse on Living Life by Cess Crew. It go one for the money, the money won't change me. Now, if any other examples come to mind, either within the hip-hop genre or outside of the hip-hop genre, I'm sure there are plenty. This was just the first one that came to mind for me. I had recently listened to the song, you know, it's fresh in the mind. It was stuck in the brain, as, as they don't say. Got him. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like you've got to do. This is an ongoing series where we talk about different literary devices, literary terms, rhetorical devices, whatever you want to call them, their presence in the world, history, and most importantly, in hip-hop lyrics. Now, I've got a couple other projects going on that I want to talk about real quick. I've been making some other videos talking about philosophy. You can check them out if you want to. Uh, please check out my new book, Rattling Hi-Hats, the Hip Hop Philosophy Handbook, available on Amazon. I will either put a link in here in the video if I can, or in the description if I can't figure out how to do it because I am technologically inept. One thing I am very passionate about, clearly, is education. And within that, a project I am working on right now is Axis of Artwork and Dayata. Dayata is a clothing company and a platform for student artists to monetize their work in convenient ways so they can focus on creating what we focus on marketing and product design. Axis of Artwork is a subsidiary of Dayata and right now is a blog and social media presence dedicated to inspiring, motivating, and fostering creativity among and within student artists. If either of these are something that you'd be interested in, I'm sure I put links in the video, and if I didn't, they're in the description, so it's all good. Stay tuned for the next episode of It's Lit Terrari. I know this was a quick one. That's all good. I'll be back next week. See you later.